everyone, Mariko Berg, residential realtor with Bridgewell Real Estate Group, and welcome back to the Bridgewell Group channel where I talk about all things real estate, specifically in myself and my team's market, which is the greater Vancouver area, uh, but I also cover things provincially and federally, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. And today I am going to be talking about property transfer tax exemptions. So we're talking about saving tax, which I know everybody loves. Um, and obviously it's going to be with a focus in real estate. So I'm going to be covering um, specific examples when it comes to the first time home buyer property transfer tax exemption for resale properties. And I'm also going to be covering the newly built home exemption, um, which is more focused to pre-sale properties or like more commonly known for pre-sale properties. So I'll go through very quickly, like, you know, what is the property transfer tax, how to calculate the property transfer tax, but I am going to be going into specific situations about how to calculate the exemption, so the tax that you're saving for those two different types of exemptions so that you guys um, know whether or not you qualify, whether or not the property qualifies, and how much you can potentially save. So let's just get into it. So before we get into the first time home buyer exemption calculation and the newly built home exemption for property transfer tax, I think it's first important just to give you like a really quick overview of how to calculate property transfer tax. And I do have this broken down further um, and like slowly in a different video. So definitely make sure to check that out if you haven't already. Um, but just quickly going into property transfer tax, it's based on fair market value. So we um, have to calculate it based on sliding scale. So it's 1% on the first 200K of fair market value for the portion between 200 up to and including $2 million, it's 2% of the fair market value. Then for anything greater than $2 million, it's 3% of the fair market value. And then just keep in mind that on residential property over 3 million, there's also an additional 2% calculation you'll have to take into consideration. Um, and if you are a foreign buyer, Again, keep in mind there is a foreign buyer ban going on right now, but in the event that you are able to uh, purchase as a foreign entity or taxable trustee, there's an additional 20% of fair market value on top of the general property transfer tax. Um, but this is how you calculate property transfer tax, and I'm gonna get into uh, the exemptions on whether or not you have to pay this next. So getting into how you calculate the first time home buyer exemption, um, starting off with like, just as a reminder, this is for resale homes. So if you're dealing with a pre-sale home, you're gonna be working off of the newly built home exemption, um, in which case it doesn't really matter if you're a first time home buyer or you're not a first time home buyer, with that kind of product, we're using that exemption. But when we're dealing with resale homes, this is what we're dealing with for first time home buyers. So the max purchase price is going to be 835K. But it's not the 835K that you're getting the full exemption on. Your exemption is going to be based on the first 500K. So when we're calculating the property transfer tax exemption, we're using this 500K number. So we have to go into how we calculate property transfer tax. So it's 1% on that first 200K amount. So if we're working off 500K, 500 less 200K, that's $300,000 for the remainder. And then that is 2% for the calculation between 200,000 to 2 million. So again, that's that 300K portion. 1% on the first 200K, how do you calculate that? 200K times 0.01. That means that it's an amount of $2,000 for that base, same as always. And then we take 300K, we multiply that by 0.02 for the 2%. That is $6,000. So how much can you save if you purchase a property under 835K, which means the property qualifies, you qualify, 2,000 plus 6,000 is $8,000. So that means that you are going to be saving $8,000 in property transfer tax in the event that you qualify for this first time home buyer exemption. 
So the next most notable property transfer tax exemption is definitely the newly built home exemption. Um, when you're talking new homes, think like a brand new home that has been built on a vacant parcel of land, whether that be like a detached home, a duplex, or maybe a brand new apartment building. And a lot of the times when um, our team is dealing with this, we're dealing with pre-sales. So something that's being sold by a developer, it's not tangible, it's not built yet. That's a great um, example of a newly built home um, and something that could potentially apply to you. So in terms of um, whether you are going to qualify for the property transfer tax exemption, again, you have to qualify and then the property has to qualify. So you can refer back to the government website. Um, if you qualify, um, it has to be the first res registration of this property with a completed improvement. So again, newly built home. Um, you have to be a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident and the property must be located in BC. Again, it can only be used as your principal residence. These kind of exemptions do not apply to investment properties. It has to be your principal residence. Um, in this situation, it has to have a fair market value of $1.1 million or less in order to get the full exemption. This was previously $750,000, but has been increased to 1.1 million. Um, and the uh, property has to be 0 0.5 hectares or 1.24 acres, depending on how you calculate it or smaller. There are also partial exemptions for the newly built home exemption, um, in which case it could have a fair market value greater than 1.1, but less than 1.15. Um, it could potentially be larger than that 0 0.5 hectares. Um, and again, it could have another building on the property other than the principal residence. So definitely make sure to check out the government website to um, check and see if you qualify for this exemption or again, talk to your lawyer who's going to be dealing with the transfer. So let's do an example calculation. Um, again, the property in order for it to qualify has to be within that $1.1 million purchase range. So let's use an example of you purchasing a $1 million home, right? So again, property transfer tax works on a sliding scale, so we have to break it down. So it's 1% on the portion um, up to and including 200K. That's the first bracket, right? And then the next bracket is 2% on the portion between 200K up um, above 200K and then up to including $2 million. So how is that broken down for the $1 million range? Again, you're using a 200K portion because that's always the base. Um, $1 million minus the initial 200K. That means that in this section here, subject to the 2%, we're working off an $800,000 number. So 200K times 1%, 0.01 is going to be $2,000, same as always for this first bracket. Um, and then the second one, we're gonna take $800,000 and we're gonna multiply it again by 0.02, that 2%, that's going to be $16,000. So now we add it all together to find out how much you're gonna be paying on $1 million. 2,000 plus 16,000 is $18,000 that you um, are going to owe to the government as a buyer um, when you register this newly built home. Um, and again, you're gonna be paying this at completion. So just keep in mind that with uh, newly built homes or pre-sales, they're also subject to GST. So this video is just about property transfer tax, but I do want you to be aware that if you are purchasing this type of home, it's very likely that you are going to be paying GST. So that GST is 5%. So this here is PTT as we call it, property transfer tax. Um, GST, just as a quick tip, is 5% of that purchase price, uh, fair market value. So in this example of a million dollars, 5% times a million is 50, that's the worst five I've ever done, $50,000. So um, you're gonna be paying $50,000 in GST, $18,000 in property transfer tax, so you'd have to have $68,000 um, available to um, put towards the taxes for purchasing a newly built home. If you are dealing with a resale property, GST does not apply. You're just going to be looking at property transfer tax. So definitely something to keep in mind. 
GST can be blended into your mortgage. So it's something you can talk to your mortgage broker about, but property transfer tax cannot be blended into your mortgage. And it's something that you are going to have to pay in full again at completion as a buyer. Thank you so much for watching this video on the property transfer tax exemptions. And I hope that it was very helpful. If you are looking for more information on how it applies to you specifically, I urge you to reach out to a tax accountant, a lawyer or a notary, as they're the ones that deal with the conveyancing and registering these taxes and the exemptions, or potentially the government of BC website, as it's a great resource for a list of all of the exemptions in the event that you um, qualify for a different one. Um, and for the ones that I covered today, they've got a lot more information on whether the property um, qualifies and of course, whether you qualify. If you're looking to buy, sell or invest in the greater Vancouver area, definitely feel free to reach out to myself and my team at Bridgeville Real Estate Group as we'd absolutely love to help you. And if you haven't been to the channel before, make sure to subscribe for future videos like this and also like and comment down below if you have any particular questions or you have any suggestions on what videos you wanna see as I'd absolutely love to accommodate everybody on the channel. Thanks so much again for watching guys and I hope you have a really great day. Bye.